law enforcement across the state of Michigan are not tolerating this type of activity anymore. One life is enough. One too many. A number of drive-by shootings in mid-Michigan and across the state have already claimed several young victims this year. And state lawmakers are now taking action in hopes of preventing future violence. The new legislation was inspired in part by the tragic death of a three-year-old boy in Flint who died in a drive-by shooting in October. tv 5s Jamie Sherrod has more on the new bills and the impact lawmakers hope they have. We have had so many drive-by shootings and we have lost so many young victims. A devastating reality in the city of Flint and across the state of Michigan. Representative Cynthia Neely saying no more. We are working hard at the legislature to make sure that Michigan families are safe. That work includes a bipartisan group of lawmakers proposing bills to put an end to drive-by shootings. It would be called Messiah's Law, named after three-year-old Messiah Williams, who was fatally shot as he slept in his bed during a drive-by shooting in Flint. Four men have been charged in connection to the incident. The most important factor, I think, is going to save lives. Flint Police Chief Terrence Green, who has responded to many of these shootings, calls the proposed legislation crucial. It's going to send a definite message to those individuals engaged in this type of activity that law enforcement across the state of Michigan are not tolerating this type of activity anymore. One life is enough. One too many. If passed, the legislation would include additional penalties for those who injure minors when shooting into an occupied area and mandatory life without parole if a child is killed. My question is why? Messiah's father, Henry Williams, still dealing with the pain of losing his son. But he's hoping the proposed bills named after Messiah will help spare other families from the unbearable heartache. It's not any closure. All we'll get is justice. Thanking lawmakers for bringing his family closer to just that. Justice for his son, who was taken too soon. It's not going to stop unless we do something to stop it. I'm Jamie Sherrod, WNEM-TV5.